guys, I'm Chef Yvonne, and I have a great recipe for you for gluten-free chocolate cupcakes. We're gonna get started on melting the chocolate with the margarine. Make sure to use good, high-quality, dark chocolate. It's gonna make all the difference. Margarine. Both are gonna go in the microwave for about 30 seconds apiece. Melt it slowly. After 30 seconds, take it out of the microwave, give it a good whisk, and the heat from the margarine will melt the remaining chocolate chips. Just keep on whisking until it becomes nice and smooth. To this, we're gonna add the egg yolks. Get all that good stuff in there. Give it a good whisk. Set that off to the side. Now to make these cupcakes light and to actually make them rise, you're gonna need something that's fluffy. So we're gonna actually use the whites of the eggs. Start at medium speed just to get it a little frothy. It's gonna loosen everything up. Go on medium. When it looks a little frothy, you're gonna add a third of the sugar. Back on medium. You're gonna whisk this for about three minutes until it about doubles in volume. That's about double in volume. You wanna add a third more. By doing this slowly, you're actually giving time for the whites to fluff up. Should be good. Once you come to about this point, it's really about tripled in volume. You're gonna add the last bit of sugar. You're gonna whisk on high. All right. Now what you basically have is a meringue here. You're gonna add about a third of the meringue to the chocolate mixture. And what you're doing is here is actually what's called folding. Now you're gonna add this mixture back into the whites. Oh. Now you're gonna fold everything slowly, but assertively. Nice, smooth batter. There you go. Take your prepared muffin tins. The easiest way to fill a cupcake tin is actually with an ice cream scooper. It's gonna keep everything nice and clean. Now you wanna fill these puppies up about three quarters of the way up. Remember, they're gonna fluff up. And if you fill them too much, they're gonna kind of go over the top, and not look as pretty. Cool. Set this off to the side. Into the oven for about 25 minutes, but keep an eye on them. And when you first come out of the oven, you're gonna see that they're nice and fluffy. As they cool, they're gonna sink in the middle. Don't worry, as soon as they don't have the support of the flour, that's what makes them gluten-free. However, all that flavor is still jam-packed inside. I'm gonna put this on a cooling rack. As Soon as they're cool, a little bit of powdered sugar. Mmm. Doesn't really get easier or better than that. 